What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be checking out Canadian Conservative Party launches ad bleeds featuring the Poilievs. Then he continues, his wife is really a secret weapon. That is Pierre Poilievs wife. Okay, let's find out why that is. Everything feels broken in Canada. From political pit bull to personal profile, three new ads from the Conservative Party are a big money three. bet on refining Pierre Poilievs image. The conservatives are trying to define themselves or else they really refining his image was there anything wrong with the old image sorry i'll take it back but you know that word i just had to figure it out conservatives are trying to define themselves or else they risk being defined Polly have recently stopped wearing his glasses at events and often ditches a suit and tie for more casual attire the new look echoed in the ads as a guy who loves me for who i am the conservative leader's wife also featured prominently along with their two children. Anna Polyev narrating one of the spots and tweeted it out before her husband. A senior conservative source saying Canadians are likely to see a lot more of her. His wife is really a secret weapon. I mean, anybody that saw her speak at the uh, convention um, about a year, year and a half ago thought, wow, you know, what an asset that is. And the conservatives <laughs> hope their secret weapon will boost her husband's standing with women. Polyev is behind 21 points to Justin Trudeau with women. 29 from here. Wow, 29 points. See, Trudeau is handsome. The women love him. One of the few places the liberals right. are ahead of or the conservatives. Overall, 59% of Canadians moderately or strongly disapprove of the prime minister, but not that far behind is Polyev at 50%, a yeah. higher number than the past four conservative leaders after nearly a year in the top job. Well, he would probably was told that he needed to soften his tone uh, to try to reassure uh, the, the center of the political spectrum and also those suburban writings that he needs to win soften to win an election. Tone. But Polyev's tough tone has propelled the conservatives to- You don't want a prime minister that softens his tone. I'm sorry I keep stopping the video, but I just need to talk. Yeah, you want somebody who says no, especially right now. You don't want someone you can swear around. You want like somebody who says no and is no. Like you don't want a soft tone right now. In 2023, with everything going on, I'm not saying you need a, di a dictator. No, that's not what I'm saying. But you need somebody who is incredibly decisive. I mean, making the decisive in making the right decisions, you know? That's the kind of person you need. To a 10-point lead over the Liberals. But when you drill down on the regional level, it shows the Conservatives will likely need more support to comfortably form government. We mentioned every election, the GTA, there's over 30 seats in there, and many seats were won by very close margins for the Liberals. The Conservatives have dropped $3 million on these ads, and they easily could have spent more. With a substantial lead in fundraising numbers and no election period rules, Farah, impacting the amount they could spend. The $3 million on ads. What kind of, is it what I just watched? That was $3 million? Uh, I doubt it. Ottawa, thank you, Mackenzie. Yeah, I doubt, I doubt it was $3 million. That couldn't have been. You can shoot that with like an FX3 or something like that. Rent it for one day, like $200. But anyways, <laughs> I wasn't here to speak on that. Let me know what you think. Um, with everybody telling me about how much they love Pierre Poiliev, it seems he, you know, his campaign or his party still has a long way to go because it's... Um, it's kind of like head and head with Justin Trudeau right now. Um, I'm not trying to campaign for anybody, but you know, Canadians, if you really want to choose somebody else, you gotta like really support the person, right? But with all the smoke Trudeau has been getting lately, I kind of have a feeling he might not want to run. I mean, I'm, I've not read this anywhere. I'm just speculating, just, you know, I'm blabbing right now. But I kind of just have that feeling because people have been smoking Trudeau. Like people say everything about him anyways let me know what you think about that video um if you want us to check out another one let me know if that ad could have been three million dollars for three no bro i don't think so but you know feel free to talk to me maybe i'm not informed enough to know is the end of this video smash the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you on the next one have a very wonderful day peace I made this bed on my own, bed on my own.